Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 46, How to Draw Series, Kitten, Front View. <laughs> I have to apologize because it's kind of blurry, but anyway, you do a circle and uh, and then underneath that circle, you do another circle about two-thirds the size of the top circle. And then you do lines, you connect them, and you'll find out later why I do that. Anyway, you go down through the circles vertically and then also horizontally. You draw a little sketching line. And then you split that top half into thirds and that bottom half into thirds. And uh, okay, now we're going to put some lines for the ears. You go up on the side, straight up vertically, and then you split that left side into thirds from that point of, that I just did to the middle, and then the same on the other side. And then you connect it at the, um, the, the second third spot on there, and that's how you get your ears. And then here what you do, you can kind of do a little line that goes out like an arc from the side, and this is going to be its the side, and then from the middle part of the eye, you connect it there, and that's going to be its little fur sticking out. And then you make a halfway mark, like there, from the center to the side, and that's going to be the eyeballs. Then you do an egg shape that's about half from the, the top half, about halfway up, and then do the eyebrows. And the nose is at the top third spot. It's really tiny little triangle. Bring a line straight down, whip it around like a U, a small U, not very big, and then another U. And then this line goes straight down from the nose. These two lines, this defines the mouth. And you can just fill that in. But you can see how tiny the mouth is. If you want, you can add whiskers. Or you can put eyelashes too. Anyway, you kind of you kind of rough out this shape because this is going to be the bottom part of the body. And go halfway, the bottom circle, draw a line straight down, and then you draw a, kind of a circular shape, almost like a mushroom shape, like the top of a mushroom. And then you do a little like a seven shape, and you flip the seven over backwards, and these are the paws. And you can kind of bring the line up here. You overlap the, the paw. You see how we overlap it? And then you put that line going up behind it. It gives it depth when you do lines like that. This is like kind of a half heart shape, I guess you could say. And you just bring it around. And then you do a little perspective line to see where you put the next paw. And the, the back paws are a little bit smaller. And then you do the same thing with little lines to define the, the paws. And I'm just kind of beefing up the lines here. Here's another kind of half heart shape. And then you just bring it around. That's the tail. And I'm going to raise some of the, some of the guidelines here. But on the face, you can see you want to keep the face, if you want it to be like a kitten, you keep it smooth. Okay, here I make a, like a teardrop shape. Wait a second here. See, I'm doing the line, overlapping the lines again. I do the little things of puffy hair. Here I'm doing a, I go about almost like, kind of halfway, but I'm making like a teardrop teardrop shape and you can see how I make it closer to the right side so that kind of defines the top of the ear so I'm almost finished now I'm just kind of beefing it up and uh, but the main thing is it has a big head what makes it cute is it has a big head the eyes probably could have been bigger so if you want to make the eyes a little bigger 
or even shape them like almonds, like a like female eyes, you could do that too. But this is your basic cute little kitten. And what makes it cute is its, its face, its nose, and its mouth is small and it's low on the face. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks a lot for watching.